the Northern Bahamas? You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. The annual East Grand Bahamas Science Summer Camp wrapping up after being in session for over a week. As Kimberly Mullings tells us, the number of probably for the area stopped by for the closing and encouraged the campers. The East Grand Bahamas Summer Camp focuses on science each year. Last year, campers learned about the ecosystem, and this year they focused on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Member of Parliament for East Grand Bahamas, Deputy Prime Minister, the Honorable K. Peter Turnquest, told the campers that he was impressed with the feedback that he got about them, and even promised them another week next year. The way that you boys and girls have behaved, the way that you have been excited about the information that has been shared, and how you've participated, how you have been so respectful to one another and to your teachers. And when I come today and I see the wonderful work that you've been doing over this last week. He added that he was excited about the lessons they learned over the past week at camp. Grand Bahamas is an industrial city, but we also have a tourism sector that needs the finer skills, and that's what you learn from the arts. You learn those fine skills, how to be patient, how to take your time, and, and how to, to, to be careful and pay attention to details. And with the engineering, you learn how to use your eye-hand coordination, and to think through projects, and think through problems, and learn some science behind what those things are doing. And after a tremendous week of sharing and learning, he admonished the students to enjoy summer. Learning is a continuous process, so you've got to continue to read, and you've got to continue to color, you got to continue to do a little bit of math, and you got to continue to play and challenge. Because as you play with these kind of models, you learn, right? And don't spend all summer inside. Summer is about having fun, right? So make sure you go outside and play with your Five students attended this year's summer camp. One of them, Christina Capoletto, shared her experience. At first, when we started building, it was hard for us to work together. But then, because we all started to do different things, so we went back and we did the first step and we worked it out and we were able to get it, the whole thing finished. And I also learned simple machines and the physics and different things about the machine that we made. Ten-year-old Alexander Dufay had similar experience this year at camp. He says engineering was his favorite part and he enjoyed building things and working through challenges with the other campers. Because there was this one challenge before the roller coaster where there was this loop we wasn't going to do the loop but then we did find a way how to put the loop on the roller coaster. Kimberly Mullins, Zadnas Network News. Well, youth, the summer camps are in full swing island-wide. The Belize Summer Camp this year has three satellite locations. St. George's High School, Martintown in 8 Mile Rock, and the Sir Jack Haywood High School. Our Italia Hall visited Sir Jack Haywood High School to check in. Thomas Police Force Youth Camp has been instrumental in the development of young people throughout the summer months. <laughs> The camp has been consistent with its core values that focuses on discipline as it relates to teaching campers how to be both responsible and accountable. This year's camp has attracted over 60 kids thus far, but the numbers are expected to increase over the next few weeks. Camp Coordinator Sergeant Clydesha Charlton gives us the overall goal for students attending. The 7 to 11 year olds, they are more um, eventful, they have more activities, they do crafts, they play more games um, such as they play um, racing we get them we have them drilling we also have them doing like I said the arts and crafts they're able to um, do games such as hangman um, but they mostly like to be outside of course As 
Assistant Camp Coordinator, Woman Police Constable 3785, Batish Cooper, highlights the importance of working together as a team. We are just standardizing, uh, breaking down our drills, which is taught during the police training college and on parades for Let's use the example, independence that is coming up. Um, the students, just to break it down, we're doing it by numbers. So you'll see steps by one, which is stand at ease. By two, which is attention, which they can understand. It'll help them to have more obedience, patience, and most of all, discipline. Now the camp will close out on August 4th. Reporting for ZNS Network News, I'm Natalia Hall. And now it's time to ask the doctor. Hi, this is Ask the Doctor. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt. Yvette asked, my son recently showed me a small lump in his groin. Should I be concerned or is this something that will go away on its own? Yvette, thank you for your question. And you are correct to be concerned about any lumps, growths, or rashes your team may develop. There are many possible causes for a lump in the groin, including something simple like an infected hair follicle or severe heat rash to a far more serious health issue like a possible cancer. Only a doctor can make a diagnosis after examining your son. If your son experiences red, inflamed, itchy or burning skin, tenderness or pain, or a large swollen bump or mass in the groin area, these can be indications of an infection. Also, if the lump gets larger, causes pain, or persists for longer than a week to 10 days, then it's time to see a doctor. If you have a question, please drop it in my question box at the hospital or email askthedrbahamas at gmail.com. I'm Dr. Monique Pratt, and this has been Ask the Doctor. Don't go away and check on sports is up next. Born here, born here. Happy Independence, Bahamas. Bahamas, 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 Bahamas,